all right guys today i just want to do a very simple video showing you where to detect diarrhea in your qrma device where to detect diarrhea in your qrma device but before i continue i just want to encourage you this is just one out of 25 common diseases that i have outlined in my online masterclass course on the qrma device on where to detect common diseases that makes it easy for you to consult with your QRMA device apart from the full main course all packaged in one course i promise you if you subscribe you are really going to enjoy you are really going to enjoy the course i took my time to do an in-depth research and recorded over 200 video clips all the parameters in over 30 reports i took time to explain those terminologies the symptoms of an abnormal uh, disease the recommended lifestyle that will correct the disease herbs supplements and so on that will correct the disease happening in that organ all right so take, you you will enjoy, i promise you will enjoy this course all right people are a lot of people are enjoying this course that's why so far as when i'm doing this video we already have subscribers of our courses in 33 countries 33 countries there's something that they are they are getting value that's why the number is increasing so i don't want you to just sit back there and keep thinking whether it is worth it or not i promise you it is worth it go and subscribe just type on the comment section i want to subscribe and i'm going to guide you on how to go about it in Kiobik healthcare academy we have pre-recorded tutorial videos of the quantum resonance magnetic analyzer device that has been uploaded on our website as an online masterclass course our qrma device online masterclass course is currently the richest exhaustive training content that you will find on the internet today it comprises of about 200 video clips for over 30 reports explaining the anatomy and physiology of the various organs in the human body with detailed diagrams to help our students to understand and own this knowledge with confidence to consult in their daily practice. Interpretation of test results, symptoms of abnormal organs, practical steps on how to detect common diseases with the QRMA device, recommended lifestyle, herbs and supplements are the main contents that are obtainable from our QRMA device training videos. It is a study at your pace training package and every subscriber enjoys the good privilege of a lifetime coaching from Dr. Anyetika after subscribing. If you operate the NLS device, you will also need this training to enhance your knowledge of human anatomy and physiology. Geobic Healthcare Academy has so far built a credible record of training about 1,000 subscribers in 34 countries and still counting. You can be one of them today. What are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Okay, so back to what we want to look into how to detect diarrhea with your QRMA device the right organ to check is large intestine function large intestine function data analysis what you need to know about diarrhea is this diarrhea is talking about the type of stool that is unusual the type of stool that is watery when you when your, when your stool is so watery, it is indicating a particular problem is going on, all right? And we have to detect that it's the large intestine, the large intestine. Now, one of the major functions of the large intestine or the most important function of the large intestine is absorption of water, absorption of water. Usually, your food, when you ingest your food and it converts to chyme, chyme, that like a bowl of space, all right, that goes through from the stomach into the um, small intestine. From the small intestine, the waste goes into the large intestine. So when you take in food, when you take in food from the mouth to the esophagus to the stomach, from the stomach to the to the um, small intestine, from the small intestine to the large intestine what gets to the large intestine is the waste 
Why I'm saying all this that this food, once we chew it, it turns into kind like a bowl of space that begins to move from the stomach to the small intestine, and then the waste goes to the large intestine. Now, this waste is able to go out through the anus thanks to the help of water. Thanks to the help of water. That is why I mentioned that the main function of the large intestine is absorption of water. Absorption of water. All right. Now, if you look at your result analysis under the large intestine function data analysis, the second parameter that you are going to see there is the colonic absorption coefficient. Colonic absorption coefficient. The word colon is simply talking about the large intestine. All right. Now, a situation whereby your large intestine Okay, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Usually, the water that accompanies the waste to the rectum is not supposed to go out with the, uh, with the waste. It's not supposed to go out with the poo. It's not supposed to go out with the feces. Alright? It is supposed to just be an accompanying guide to ease movement. Um, uh, peristalsis, that's movement of this waste from one segment of the large intestine to another segment, alright? And they have their time duration. A healthy system has a time duration where this water accompanies this waste. Now, when that time elapses, this water is withdrawn from that um, region, is withdrawn from that session, okay? Now, when there's a system of function, this water, when the time elapses for it to uh, to remain with the waste and it is not withdrawn, it is because there is a system of function that is what causes diarrhea. Okay, it means that the at the end of the day, the the the, the, the water went out or the water goes out with the with the pool. It goes out with the waste and makes your stool to be watery makes your soul to be watery and that is what we call diarrhea so i'm going to show you in the ukrm device how to interpret such or where to check in your ukrm device to detect that oh this person is having diarrhea or is about to have diarrhea okay so we are looking at the screen and we said that the right um, organ to check the right report to check is the large intestine function data analysis the large intestine function data analysis and we are looking at the second parameter, which is the colonic absorption coefficient. Colonic absorption coefficient. If the reading is moderately abnormal low or severely abnormal low, the person is going to experience diarrhea. The person is going to experience diarrhea if he's not yet already experiencing it. What is trying to say is that the colon is not absorbing water as it ought to. If it's absorbing water, it's supposed to be a normal or even high, all right? But if it is not absorbing water, that is why it is on moderately abnormal low, then the person is going to experience a watery stool. That is what we call diarrhea. So in summary, where to detect diarrhea in your current device is Colonic absorption coefficient moderately abnormal low under large intestine function data analysis.